Hey guys, how's it going? What's up? Paxtag Gaming here. We're working on a quick trophy achievement here for Mighty Number no. 9. And it's a silver trophy. I'm not sure what the gamer score amount is on Xbox. I'm playing this on PS4. But this is going to be for getting 50 absorption combos. And what that means is you're when you hit an enemy a certain number of times uh, to the point where they kind of become stunned and they there's pixelated blocks like floating around them they essentially turn into a different color uh, the colors vary between enemies but once they do that you're gonna use your sprint ability and kind of just rush through them and it's this absorption feature that the game has and the idea of this to get a hundred percent or to get these combos is you have to get a hundred percent of the absorption so in order to do that you have to sprint through the enemies as soon as they become pixelated and turn a different color. Uh, that's the most difficult part. Getting the 100% on each of these absorption combos is the most difficult part. And you, so as you can see here, you have to get to a, um, a pretty unique position for some of these enemies. And I, I played it you know, I didn't want to play fast and loose with this uh, this trophy because I wanted to make sure that I didn't screw up. You have to get 50 of these. And if you're wondering, the level I'm playing this on is going to be the very last level. If you haven't played the game yet, uh, it's Mighty Number no. 8's level. And I found this to be the easiest just because the enemies don't necessarily... There's, there's a lot of ground enemies in this level, more so than there are flying ones. I found the flying enemies to be the most difficult to actually get this 100% with on these combos. So that's why I'm right here, I'm just kind of taking my time with these guys. But once once I take out these UFOs, there's several other rooms with a lot of ground enemies. And in that situation, all you want to do is make sure that you're not hitting too many enemies at the same time. You know, if you have to, just take them one by one and isolate yourself a little bit. Uh, what I'm doing here is I decided to try to see if I could use one of my other abilities and you change those with the left bumper. Uh, just to clarify, you're going to sprint with the right bumper if you're not sure how to do that. And I decided to take out these flying enemies with with this, um, this pyro ability that I obtained from the second boss in the game. Technically mighty number one, uh, but it's after the opening boss. And that kind of helped with the flying enemies but if you don't have that obviously you're gonna have to do the whole jump and shoot and then kind of sprint through them so that makes it a little more difficult beyond that though it's it's just taking it being very conservative taking it slow through here and if you actually in this level if you miss an enemy what I like about this is if you miss an enemy you return to the, those hallways like you return to those various rooms uh, provided you don't actually take out the boss or anything like that um, you'll continuously just go in like a cycle here until you you know decide you're gonna take on the boss and, and that's a that's a story for another video probably so like I said there's a lot of ground enemies coming up here and it's it's all of these uh, statues, these head statues, and again, um, you want to make sure you do this as fast as possible when you're dealing with the absorption of these enemies, because if you're even like a couple of seconds off, it's going to drop down to 90, and it's it's extremely frustrating. I tried to do this on the very first level, and it it is possible, especially after playing the game a little bit more, I got the hang of the whole absorption thing a little bit better. Um, and I have a couple other videos where I actually show me getting 100% on the first level, but not quite to the 50 combo that you need. So, beyond that, uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm getting closer and closer. Uh, the first time I tried this on this level, I got to 48 and I missed it and I was so pissed, but... Uh, it's it's coming up here in just a second. I believe these dudes hanging here This is what I mean by you want to make sure you don't hit too many enemies at the same time I went around that dude because if I had shot through him He would have hit the cans on the other side They would have become pixelated and I would have missed that hundred percent absorption So uh, I'm over here trying to divide these enemies up too, just to kind of make sure that uh, That was a close one make sure that I don't 
screw this up. And this dude up here on top of the chandelier was a little bit difficult the first couple times I had to mess with him. But I'm at 45. Those dudes with shields, uh, if if they don't disappear as soon as you hit them the first time, you will have to hit them again. And it counts as two, uh, two combos, which is nice because with one walking easy enemy, you get two combos. Uh, the number of enemies actually equals 50 in this level. So if, you know, you're like, what the hell did I do? These are the last two enemies in the whole level, and, and it's a total of 50. So I don't know if that's the case for every single level. Uh, I would imagine so. That's just, that's my guess, uh, to imagine that you have to get 100% completion on uh, all of these, all of the enemies on each level. To actually get this trophy that would make sense either way there's a trophy for you and hopefully this helps you guys out uh just stick with it you'll have to probably try it a few times unless you get you know lucky and try it the one time uh but if this does help you guys out uh, make sure you hit the like button subscribe to packsack gaming leave a comment if you'd like let me know what you think about the game and if this if this video actually did help you out and uh, obtaining this trophy achievement. So thanks for watching guys, catch you next time.